Hello, my friends, lovers of ornamental birds, and especially laying hens. On this occasion, I bring you a fascinating topic. I'd like to get straight to the content, as it's a very extensive and somewhat complex subject, although I'm sure you'll understand it. And if you have any questions, you know you can write to me, and I'll gladly answer them. Today, I want to talk about the cross between a barred Plymouth Rock rooster and an Isa Brown hen. I really like this cross because I made a video of the cross between a Rhode Island red rooster and an Isa Brown hen. And the dominant color expression was a darker brown than the Isa Brown, with excellent brown egg production. I'll leave that video in the video description. Why do I like this cross between a barred Plymouth Rock rooster and an Isa Brown hen? I like it because in this video we're going to discover the genetic complexity that the Isa Brown holds, since the color expression of the cross between the Isa Brown and the Rhode Island Red Breed was a predictable colored offspring. As the Isa Brown has Rhode Island Red genes, and when crossed again with a Rhode Island Red Rooster, the dominant genes made the plumage color of the offspring predictable. But what happens when you cross the high-laying Isa Brown line with the barred Plymouth Rock breed? whose genetics hold a complex barred gene, which is dominant. The company behind this high brown egg production line is of French origin, called ISA, which has worked for over 35 years in developing birds with excellent feed conversion and high laying persistency. When ISA was founded in 1978, it was already working on creating high performance genetic lines. But the ISA brown as we know it today, was the result of years of development and refinement. At that time, the initial characteristics of the Isa Brown included high brown egg production, excellent feed conversion, and adaptability to different climates and management systems. The Isa Brown was created by crossing Rhode Island Red Roosters and Rhode Island White Hens, which resulted in a hybrid hen that is sexable at birth and with exceptional egg production capacity. It's estimated that Isa Browns produced by this company can reach a maximum production of 350 eggs per year under 100% optimal conditions. Generally, no breed or hybrid laying hen can be compared to these levels of brown egg production. The creation of the Isa Brown hen involved a complex genetic process that isn't limited solely to the genes of the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White breeds that we might have at home. Although these breeds were the main base, ISA introduced genes from other laying breeds to optimize characteristics such as egg production, resistance, and adaptability through an intense genetic improvement program that involved a strict process of crosses and genetic selection. We can all achieve something incredible if we fully understand everything that's being said in these videos that I've uploaded to the channel, as they are the basic principles that these companies have had since their creation. In addition to the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White breeds, some breeds that were used to contribute genes to the Isa Brown and turn them into super egg producing hybrids include the Brown Leghorn Hen breed is a color variety within the Leghorn breed, recognized for its brown plumage and its ability to produce brown shelled eggs, unlike the traditional white variety that lays white eggs. The brown variety arose as a result of selective crosses to diversify plumage and adapt to commercial preferences, such as brown-shelled egg production. This leghorn variety lays between 280 to 300 eggs per year, a similar amount to the white leghorn. But it's worth noting that these breeds that were used to contribute genes to the creation of the Isa Brown were selected only the best specimens that stood out among the others for their maximum egg production. That is, these breeds were also rigorously selected and crossed to choose the best and introduce these genes to the creation of the Isa Brown. Also, the sexual maturity of the breeds that were chosen had to be early sexual maturity. The Bard Plymouth Rock breed was another that was used to contribute genes in the creation of the complex genetic makeup that the Isa Brown hen inherited, this breed contributing characteristics of hardiness and longevity. The New Hampshire was another breed that was used and is similar to the Rhode Island Red. This breed is known for its good brown egg production and complemented the genetic characteristics of the Isa Brown. And the last breed that was used to contribute genetics to the Isa Brown was the White Leghorn breed. The White Leghorn is one of the best laying breeds known today, 
and couldn't be missing from this genetic party. But how is it done if white leghorns lay white eggs and isobrowns lay brown eggs? Introducing white leghorn genes would degrade the existing characteristics of the isobrown. So how did they manage to contribute the exceptional qualities of this breed? To introduce the genes of this breed without affecting the color of the isobrown's eggs, they had to first cross the leghorn breed with the Rhode Island red breed, and from that cross, select the offspring that presented the productive qualities of the leghorn and laid brown eggs. This selection of offspring with these qualities, to cross them again among individuals who had the same characteristics, resulted in a variety of white leghorns with brown egg production, and have different qualities and genetic contributions than the brown leghorn. All this variety of genes that were introduced to the isobrown had to converge in two base breeds, which were the Rhode Island Red on the paternal side and the Rhode Island White on the maternal side. And why choose these two breeds as a base to produce the isobrown? These two breeds were chosen as a base since the cross between both results in chicks that are sexable at birth a marvel on the part of the people who dedicated their lives to a complex genetic world, and who made the ISA company one of the best industries for the production of laying hens with unprecedented productive qualities in the poultry world. What was I trying to get at when I tell you about the complete genetic world that's behind the Iserbrown high laying line? What I wanted with this explanation is for you to understand the varieties of colors that you can obtain when you cross the Iserbrown with a breed like the Bard Plymouth Rock, whose genetics are also complex due to a gene called the Bard gene, which is dominant and directly influences the offspring of this cross. The chicks from this cross will come out in four dominant colors, which are Black, Bard, White, and White Bard. Of all the crosses that were made, offspring whose plumage color is similar to the Issa Brown were hardly obtained, and I'll tell you later why this impressive event happened. These four basic colors that are frequently obtained in this cross of a barred Plymouth Rock rooster with an ice of brown hen don't completely close the possibility that some chicks of other colors or patterns will be born. Since we saw the complex genetic world of the ice of brown hen, whose recessive gene expression could be expressed at any time. Let's start with the white variety that's obtained as a product of this cross. It's possible that some offspring from a cross between a barred Plymouth Rock rooster and an Isa Brown hen will be completely white. This is due to the presence of the I gene, which is the color inhibitor gene, which is dominant in this case, and may be present in the Isa Brown inherited from her mother, the Rhode Island White. This gene inhibits the expression of pigments in the feathers, resulting in white plumage. If the chicks inherit this inhibitor gene from the Issa Brown mother, as was the case in this first case, they could be born completely white, although in some cases, they might have small black spots if the gene doesn't completely inhibit the color, which we can clearly see in this beautiful specimen from this cross. This phenomenon is common in commercial hybrids, where specific genes are selected to maximize certain characteristics. For example, it can be clearly seen in white broiler chickens, whose color pattern is predominantly white, but some black feathers can be seen. The body shape of this white hen is beautiful, as it has a physical appearance similar to a barred Plymouth Rock hen, but with predominantly white plumage. Then we have the white variety with a barred pattern. It's possible that some offspring from this cross will have a partial barred pattern in specific areas such as the wings, chest, and neck with a brown and white color instead of the classic black and white. This is due to the interaction of several genes that affect the color and pattern of the plumage. First, we have the expression of the Bard gene B. Although the Bard gene is dominant at first glance, its expression can be affected by other genes contributed by the Issa Brown. In this case, the Bard pattern has manifested itself partially, or in specific areas, due to the influence of secondary genes. Among these secondary genes contributed by the Issa Brown, we have the I gene, which is the color inhibitor gene. If the Issa Brown contributes the color inhibitor gene, this could reduce the intensity of the barring in certain areas, leaving a more subtle and localized pattern. We also have another gene that's expressed in this case, and it's the brown color gene, contributed by the Issa Brown. The Issa Brown has a characteristic brown plumage, which could influence the tone of the barring transforming it into a brown and white pattern instead of black and white. 
By introducing genes from a hybrid line like the Isa Brown, the combination of barred genes can lead to unique and unexpected patterns, such as partial erasure in specific areas. This type of genetic variation is common in hybrid crosses and reflects the complexity of the inheritance of the parent's color. Then we can observe a beautiful hen whose barred pattern is a bit similar to that of a hen of the barred Plymouth Rock breed, with some differences, let's see. It's possible that the daughters of this cross will have a barred pattern similar to the barred Plymouth Rock, but with variations such as darker tones in a large part of the body, and predominantly whiter barring in areas such as the face, neck, and chest. This is due to the genetic interaction between the parents and how the genes related to the color and pattern of the plumage are expressed. In this case, the barred gene B, linked to the Z chromosome, is dominant and responsible for the barred pattern. In the females from this cross, ZW, the barring may be less uniform because they only have one copy of the barred gene, which can lead to variations in the tone and distribution of the pattern. On the other hand, we have the influence of the extended black E gene. If the Iser Brown contributes the extended black gene, this can darken certain areas of the body, modifying the barred pattern and making some areas darker. In addition to the barred gene, other genes present in the Isa Brown can influence the intensity and distribution of the color, creating lighter areas on the neck, face, and chest, as is the case here. This barring in these hens from this cross is of more open black bars in a large part of the body, giving the impression at first glance of being predominantly black, but when you look closely you can see that it certainly has barring in the plumage. On the other hand, we can observe a barring on the chest and face, whose expression of white stripes is more dominant. The sexing of the barring at birth in this case doesn't achieve the purpose due to the genetic variability that occurs in the cross between the Isa Brown Hen and the Barred Plymouth Rock Rooster, so the sex could be expressed in any of the colors that I've indicated. It's very common for the offspring to be born mostly with a barred pattern, since the Isa Brown also has genes from the Barred Plymouth Rock breed. And finally, we have completely black chicks. This occurs due to the genetic interaction between the parents. The solid black color in the offspring is a manifestation of the barred gene B, without the visible white stripes. This can occur if the barred gene is present but isn't fully expressed due to interaction with other genes, such as the E gene, which is the extended black gene, which can mask the barred pattern and which is contributed by the Issa Brown. In avian genetics, plumage patterns can be influenced by multiple factors, including the dominance of certain genes and the interaction between them. If the extended black gene contributed by the Isa Brown is present, it can hide the visual effect of the barring, making the plumage appear completely black. For your success, breeder friend, until next time.